Hi, I'm Aisha. You are watching Educational Hub. In this video, we learn about what is directional hypothesis and non-directional hypothesis, and difference between directional and non-directional hypothesis. Let's begin. Okay, first we need to understand what is directional hypothesis. Directional hypothesis are type of hypothesis in which direction of the relationship between the variables, positive and negative, in indicated. For example, the greater the stress experience in the job and the lower the job satisfaction of employees. In this example, you can see, there is clear direction of the relationship shown, so, it is directional hypothesis. And we can also say, the directional hypothesis can also be defined as the nature of the difference between two groups on a variable, more than and less than as postulated. For example, women are more motivated than men. In this example you can see, the nature of the difference between two groups on a variable is more the postulated. So, it is directional hypothesis. We explain directional hypothesis with graph. Directional tests are also called one-tailed test. This is because the critical region is in one-tailed test. As shown in a graph, the error is all in one direction, either less than or greater than a central point, not both as shown in this graph. What are non-directional hypothesis? Non-directional hypothesis are those that do postulate a relationship or differences but offer no indications of the direction of these relationships or differences, non-directional hypothesis is formulated, either because the relationship or difference have never been explored, and hence there is no basis for indicating the direction, or because there have been conflicting findings in previous research studies, on the variables. For example, there is a relationship between aerosol seeking tendency and consumer preferences for complex product design. In this example, you can see that there is no clue as to whether aerosol seeking tendencies and preferences of complex product design are positively and negatively correlated. Here the direction of the relationship is not known, so we will use non-directional hypothesis. In other example, we can see there is a differences between the work ethic values of American and Asian employees. In this example, you can see that we do not know whether the work ethic values are stronger in Americans or Asians. Here is the direction of relationship is not known. So, we will use non-directional hypothesis. In non-directional hypothesis, non-directional test is also called two-tailed hypothesis test or two-sided test because you can test for effects in both directions. When you perform two-tailed test, you split the significance level percentage between both tails of the distribution as shown in the graph. There are so many differences between directional and non-directional hypothesis. 1. Directional hypothesis are the hypothesis in which the direction is specified. On the other hand, non-directional hypothesis is hypothesis in which the direction is non-specified, whether it is positive or negative. 2. Directional hypothesis is also known, one-tailed hypothesis, while non-directional hypothesis is known as two-tailed hypothesis. 3. Directional hypothesis is specifies the existence and also the relationship. On the other hand, non-directional hypothesis only predict existence. 4. Directional hypothesis are appropriate for variables that are orderable. Another side, non-directional hypothesis are appropriate for variable are not orderable.